All right, folks, so we got our double braced uh, keyboard stand here, and this is not the easiest thing to put together, so I'm going to kind of walk you through it. Um, so let's get to it. So the first thing you might see uh, as you're working on this is that each of these connectors have a different color here, it's a different sticker, and so these correspond with where um, you should match up the parts of the stand and the feet. Okay. So I've got an orange one here, yellow, green, and purple. Okay. Uh, and if you'll notice, like the yellow and green are one length, and the purple are, and the purple and the orange are shorter length. Uh, I believe the uh, purple and orange go on top, and the yellow and green go on the bottom, at least for mine. So you get a bag of hardware here. I think there's an Allen wrench in here, or like the little um, the wrench to tighten the screws. Uh, if you notice here on one of the braces, this is the brace without the clutch, without the trigger. Um, I've got green on top up here, and yellow uh, here. Actually, these are the bottom section, so this should be oriented this way. So again, green, yellow. I'm going to line it up with this other piece with the clutch that also has green and yellow on the bottom. Okay. And by the way, to, in order to um, in order to move this, like to open it up to get it ready so it can fit in the feet, um, you might need to pull this trigger up to, in order to um, move the legs. Got green, and you'll see here, we've got green sticker to green foot, and there's a place to put the screws. I'm going to load those in a moment. Likewise, I've got the green sticker here. I'm just going to insert that and make sure that that lines up, um, that the X lines up with the uh, other side. All right, again, so I'm putting my green into green. I've already done that for this one. Um, another thing to keep in mind that your X brace, um, the, the purple upper legs uh, of, of the brace itself, are both going to be inside the outer legs. The outer leg is going to be orange and orange. Um, those will be on the outside, if that makes sense. So if you look here, um, we've got green and green on the bottom on the outside, and we've got purple and purple on the inside. So keep that in mind as you assemble this. Okay, so purple and purple on top. Okay, that's there. Okay, now here's the tricky part because this foam thing here on the trigger that uh, unlocks the mechanism. Um, it's very tight against the frame, so you're going to need to kind of peel that back as you install the uh, orange top. And of course on the orange top there's a little groove here for the trigger to slide in that's not on the other side. Make sure you find that piece. And then finally I'm going to put my yellow on. I'm not putting these screws in yet, but I've got everything assembled and now you can see, um, you know, with, with the Trigger not pressed, I can't move this, but if I squeeze the trigger here, it can open and shut just fine. Okay. All I need left to do for me to do is to um, put the screws in, which I guess I'll do now. And my feet came off just now as I flipped this. Uh, for what it's worth, um, the guide, I have all my uh, screws going on the outside of the of the legs with the nut going on the inside. That's how the diagram seems to have it placed. And of course I'm just hand tightening these right now and then I'll use the wrenches in a moment. Alright so notice, well the clock's probably cut off here, but it took about 10 minutes to put that together, uh, maybe a little bit less. I just want to show you again, I haven't tightened these screws yet, but if you can see that, oh, that's probably out of focus. Here, the yellow legs are kind of on the inside, whereas the green legs are on the outside. If I flip this upside down, same thing here. Purple are on the inside there with the orange on the outside. And the orange has this, um, it's hard to do in reverse. <laughs> uh, 
uh, this trigger here, again, that releases the locking mechanism to open and shut the stand. So the only thing left for me to do is to uh, tighten these with the wrenches and then I've got a functioning stand. So give me a minute and I'll be right back. And that's it. So again, got my stand done. Uh, orange side is where the trigger is. I can put my keyboard up here, got big feet, got a locking mechanism here. And that's how you put together your double braced, trigger based stand.